Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kyra here with another Exos Heroes video. And in today's video, I want to talk about the blue fake ward that just got released into the game in Aiden here and whether or not he's worth pulling. When it comes to blue fake wars, I think there's a lot of stuff to talk about because there's a lot more to discuss than just, is this character's kit good? I think that is a factor, but we need to talk about a lot. We need to talk about the character's kit. We need to talk about the characters he's impacting. We need to also, we need to talk about the characters you have in your roster if they match the characters within the fake war boost and a strategy on how much zest are you willing to spend on one of these. I wanna talk about all that. Let's start it off with, so let's go over his kit. It's pretty straightforward. We got Superstar and Fan Club. Uh, first of all, Superstar afflicts target with attention mark for seven turns. When the skill hits, increases all damage over time on the target with attention by 100%. And then Fan Club afflicts target with anti-fan mark when attacked, triggers double team on all living allies. If the health of the enemy with anti-fan is 30% or lower once every seven turns. Superstar doesn't really do much in my opinion. Having the, so afflicts attention mark for seven turns when the skill hits, increases all damage over time on a target with attention by 100%. Like it's just too slow. It doesn't really, I mean, I can see it doing something, especially if it, this is PVE with like a big boss or something like that. But for PVP, I don't really see that passive being very useful. When it comes to fan club, that's something that you don't really have any agency over it. It's just kind of the CPU falling into it. If they happen to be low, they attack him and then everyone goes in and bodies them. You don't get to actively choose when to do it. It's up to the opponent to proc it on the on themselves. It's hard for me to evaluate a move like that. When it works, it's great. When it, you have no way of relying on them to actually do it, especially with a character like this. If this was on like a provoke character, then that's like really the only way you can re really try to guarantee it working. And then now let's talk about his actives here. We got his active one deals 525% piercing damage to one enemy. Super hard hitting move here. It's on a four mana cooldown. When I see that, I see a character that wants to definitely have a lot of back row characters on the team since he's fast and has a really impactful move, like a really high burst move, with a lot of mana, and he's quick. You'd probably pair him with FC Annie. You know, that's really all I see with this move, especially with the move this basic here. And then his A2 deals 51 percent damage to all enemies over time poisons target causing 31 percent damage every turn for two turns so another pretty straightforward move is just a slight upgrade over his normal version that he has on his base character this is just an objectively better version of that it still keeps like kind of the core identity of when i think of Aiden, the the original character as just a very good challenge character very good for pve content and a subpar pvp character so that that's just evaluating him as a character i would say above average and if you're new to the game and running through challenges amazing now we got to evaluate the blue fake or portion if you're not familiar with how blue fake or works every blue fake or gives these percentage stats to a group of characters so we have this buff effect here so one percent attack one percent defense six percent health and two percent collection power to everyone in this group here so this group of characters, so this one is going to be all the Greenland characters where we have the notable ones that we're really trying to boost here are Bathory, Rara, Alum, Talia, Chadi. Mainly the, the first tr trio is amazing. FC Tantalo, if you have him, Karen's pretty good too. Other ones are not nearly on the level of the ones I just mentioned. This is one of the best groupings I've seen in a blue fake core yet. Now that we know that the kit is okay, now that we know that the group of characters is very good, there's a couple of other things we got to consider here. First one being, it's not listed on here. When you fuse a blue fake core character, you get massive boost not only to the character itself, but to the buff effect of the blue fake core buff. So it's not going to be one percent it's going to be significantly higher like the one i remember specifically is the health percentage can go all the way up to 30 percent. so you, you got to get pretty lucky might take a couple fuses to get there but the the fact that it even has the chance of getting from six percent to thirty percent is a massive increase and that's where in my opinion the real value of these blue fake cores are is in the fusion of blue fit course. So now that we know that the kit is okay, the characters we're buffing are really good. Do we have those characters? And are we willing to go to pity on this? Because when it comes to a blue fit core character, this is so far in the game, this is the only chance to get a fate core chance up on a blue fit core is gonna be this banner because they don't have a choice fit core re, they don't go into strings. There's been nothing in the game so far that's given us a chance up increase on blue fit cores. So if you're going to pull for one, I think not only do you need to have a pity saved up, is, but you need to be wanting to go for multiple copies. And that's different than every suggestion I've laid out before. When, whenever I say willing to go to pity, that means you're just getting, you're just trying to get one copy. It sucks that you went to pity, but you at least got that one copy. 
In this situation, if even if you pull early, you still want to go to pity probably to get the fuse. I, I think this is one of the situations we're going for the, for the fusion is very worth it, especially if you have the characters of the grouping, which are here. If, you, if you're running Rara, if you're running Bathory as your main carries, if you have FC Tontal in your main team, then absolutely go for him if you have the Zest for him. And don't stop when you pull one, is my opinion. So it's just these blue fake cores, they really got to wow me because these are the, unfortunately, these are the situations where going all the way and and even when you pull them, you keep going is actually kind of worth it. Um, unfortunately, when it comes to the, the bonus boost of the character stats here. So I tried Googling this. I can't find the specifics there. I, I, I have seen a like kind of like an infographic or something explaining just how many stats you can gain from the fusion. So I'd have a better way to represent if you, it's actually worth it for you because this is so many different resources. If there's anyone in the comments that has a link to that, please link it down in the comments below so people can know exactly what kind of stats they can expect from a fusion. I just can't seem to find it. But that's mainly the things to evaluate when it comes to this character. And so I think for most people, I think this is a character that blue fake cores are never bad to pull for, in my opinion. It's just a lot of times the blue fake or the actual character itself is not great. The only time I've actually really used extensively the blue fake or character, not just the blue fake or passive, was FC Baraka in the beginning. When you know Baraka is a good character and he's machined, and machine's one of the hardest, if not the hardest, faction when it came to challenges. So having a dragon blood character with machine was fantastic, and he was a blue fake or character, it was a no brainer. Whereas with this guy, you're I see this character being a challenge style character, but for most people, if you're if you have rare, if you have bathroom, you're not really focused on challenges. You're trying to compete in PvP. So he's not gonna get much use, in my opinion, maybe as a fringe tag team character. And potentially on Nature Day for Holy Dragon Grounds, if you still care about that, maybe gonna be useful in some of the harder either campaigns or in trials, for example. Definitely gonna be a staple in on nature day for challenges if you're trying to do like lunatic uh for the rank one gear but those are going to be the main places i see him used and it's such a massive zest sink to recommend blue fake cores in my opinion but that's how i'm viewing whether or not this character is worth it so if you check all the boxes good luck in your polls for going for him if there's anything else i left out or if there's any other opinions you have on fc Iden, let me know down in the comments below Definitely help out the community. There's a lot of, you know, especially when it comes to pulling a character, I think it's getting as much information out there as possible is super useful. So please comment. And with that, you guys have a good one. Peace.